Former Boston Police Union President Patrick Rose is facing new sexual assault charges. Prosecutors say four more victims have come forward. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live in West Roxbury tonight where Rose appeared in court by video conference. Mike. Lisa, Patrick Rose is facing 15 new charges and some of these allegations date back to the early 90s. Your Honor, this case just got approximately four times stronger with four new child sexual assault victims. Retired Boston police officer and former police union president Patrick Rose is facing new allegations of sexually assaulting four minors. With the passage of time and further investigations, the case um, is getting more and more complex and more and more complicated. Earlier this month, Rose covered his face during his arraignment as prosecutors said he raped a child between 7 and 14 years old for a period of years. Tuesday, he could not be seen at all while appearing via Zoom on the new charges. We currently have two current day children and three adult survivors from the 1990s. Rose's new charges include statutory rape of a child and indecent assault and battery on a child under 14. Court paperwork shows the alleged offenses happening in January of 1991, November and December of 1993, and June of 2018. His defense attorney raised concerns about the statute of limitations on some of the allegations. Uh, it's not entirely clear that uh, this case is going to go forward without uh, any kind of head notes. Rose's case is being investigated by state police rather than Boston police because of his past employment. Suffolk County DA Rachel Rollins addressing the charges earlier this month. These are incredibly serious allegations uh, of anyone. But when it is somebody who is sworn to protect us and has, um, you know, has the ability to interact with a community, uh, we take this incredibly seriously. Rose pleaded not guilty to the new charges. He's due back in court on September 23rd. Reporting live in Boston, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBC News.